Hi there, I'm Kirsten Harding, Head of Religious Studies here at St Margaret's. You'll be hearing from Hazel and Dom from the RS department later on in this presentation, but just by way of introduction, I'd like to say that we'd be delighted if you were to continue your education with us here at St Margaret's. The course that we offer is Philosophy and Ethics, which many of you will have studied at GCSE. Now obviously at A-level, greater depth and thought will be required, along with skills that will stand you in good stead for any future studies or employment. Quite a number of our past students have gone on to study philosophy or theology at university, although many have branched out into other fields, and the experience of philosophical, theological and ethical debate has been of huge value to them. In this department we evaluate the development of our students academically, but also holistically. We recognise the impact of making connections between our Christian values and appropriate life skills. Even if you don't choose RS at A-level here at St Margaret's, you'll still have the opportunity to explore a variety of philosophical, theological and ethical issues in your sixth form. We are a Church of England Academy, so all our sixth form students benefit from 5% RE during years 12 and 13, much of which relates to current affairs and charitable organisations. I'm Hazel Kinlock and I'm one of the religious studies teachers here at St Margaret's. Um, I coordinate the Key Stage 5 and I've recently finished an MA in religious education. So I just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about uh, the course and a little bit about the extras that we include in order to embed the learning. So if you decide to study religious studies with us, you'll leave with a lot of knowledge um, on all the different components that we study. So for example, we'll look at Christianity to do with um, the afterlife, we'll look from a philosophical point of view and religious um, experience, and then from an ethical point of view, we'll be looking at philosophers such as Bentham and Fletcher. Um, in order to embed the learning, we um, go on some overseas trips as well. So we've been to Auschwitz when we're looking at the concepts of evil and suffering, and from um, to understand Christian worship, um, we've been to some of the art galleries in Paris and also to some other places of worship. Um, back home as well, we also go to some of the local universities whenever there's conferences on for A-level students and also we have some guest speakers that come in that are relevant to the topics that we are studying. So for example, um, when we're looking at science and religion, a specialist will come in that um, will give a talk on that particular unit. So if all that appeals to you, then maybe religious studies is um, one of the A-levels for you. Okay, thanks.
Hello, my name is Dominic Kidner. I'm one of the A-level religious studies teachers here at St. Margaret's. My degree background is in secondary religious education and I'm also currently studying part-time for a master's degree in theology. My specialisms when it comes to teaching the A-level specification is particularly within the Christianity component, so examining how Christianity engages with topics such as the rise of secularisation or with science for example and also with things such as pluralism as well so the different religions and how Christianity coexists with them. Now the, the A-level specification that we follow is, is really interesting in fact it's quite diverse. You look at topics and disciplines within philosophy, theology and also ethics as well for that matter. So it really does prepare for a broad range of university level study. Alongside that, we like to think of religious studies as a very contemporary subject, so it's happening now all around us. We look at Christianity and also ancient Greek philosophers and how they engage with ethical issues such as abortion, euthanasia, capital punishment, and even animal rights as well. So we really do give you the skills to be able to do that, whether it's critically analysing or examining these concepts and theories. So if that's something you sound interested in, we really would love to see you join here at St Margaret's.